let's just say we have a design that we want to split. Don't know what hoop to use or anything like that. I know what hoops I have. Here, I want to open a design. And I'm going to use this, um, this one right here, okay? And it's, a, it's bigger, okay, much bigger than what I'm using here. Okay, it's too big. So I'm going to, let's see what kind of hoops this will fit in. So I can look at the bottom of the screen on the right-hand side. You want to make sure that you're in metric because what we do does not translate into inches at all. It has to be metric. Because in Brilliance, if we have Brilliance Essentials, we have to use the multi-hoops that it gives us. That's it. You can't add new hoops. But with, with the enthusiast, you can go ahead and add your own hoops in order to split hoops into how you want them to go. So uh, first of all, I want to note that this down here on the right-hand side tells me that this embroidery design is 179.0 millimeters by 222.4 millimeters. Okay, so... All right, I'm just going to write that figure down. Okay, so now what kind of hoops do I have? So I would go to my preferences here, and I'm going to pick up my hoops. So I'm just going to pick a 5 by 7 hoop, which is what it is. I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so I know it needs to rotate. Okay, it looks like it will fit twice. But what I have to do is I have, that, that, that would fit, the top part would fit okay, and the bottom part. So what I think, if I take that five by seven and I lay it on its side, then I can go ahead and do this in two hoops. So let's see if I have a hoop like that. Yeah, I probably do, but we're gonna make one. Okay, so I'm going to pick a new multi-position. And I probably have one here, but that's all right. So I'm going to do a new hoop. Okay. And I'm going to call this, um, I want, I'll put in the size that I need. I need that thing to be at least as big as this design, which is, I'm going to round it up a little bit. So it's 179. So I'll go 180 times uh, 222. So I'll make that 225 millimeters. And I'm going to put a parenthesis that says it's a five by seven double and it's rotated. Okay, so I know when I want to use a five by seven, that's that's double up, or I might say double. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so now here's the information I have. I have PES, that's the type I'm going to use. It's overall size. We're going to keep an eye on that because we need to make this overall size 180 by 225. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to pick, this is the hoop that I'm using. Okay, I'm going to put it in in its rotated size. So 180 on the X horizontal, and my vertical is going to be 130. Okay, so it's one, if you look behind, I have a hoop down here, the, the five by seven hoop is here, and it's 180 wide by 130 high. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to have it in two columns, no, two rows, two rows, one here and one here, and one column, so it'll be one column wide. Okay, now what you have over here, this color by color, and multi, or the left to right, these I don't bother with. Um, and I'm going to, these are dealing with odd, weird hoops. And, and, and I think left to right to left means if you wanted to stitch right to left rather than left to right. Okay, so now over here, if you are using the 14 by 14 hoop that comes with the 10 needle machines, that you can rotate it so that you do 7 by 14 one way and then you turn that hoop around the other way and do the other side, that's what this button right here is. The preserve center offset, not giga hoop, that's dealing with a Janome machine. So I usually don't bother with that. I like to add the basting alignment lines, and that's going to help you line it up. 
Okay, and then your base length, I'll leave that at six millimeters, that's fine. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to use this offset here to make the 130 by 80, 180 by 225 match here. So it's 180, so we don't have to do anything with the columns. It's already good, one column, we're good. Let's see, it needs to be 225. And we're going to subtract the 130, which comes out to 95. So we are taking this number where it needs to be, and I was subtracting out this Y, and I'm going to go under the offset. So the row, here's a row here and a row here. So we need those to add up. So that's going to be 95. You might instinctively think why I'm going to put it this way for column no. no. We want it right here. So that's going to say 95. And when we click on it, see right here, magically, that's 180 by 180 and 225 by 225. And I hit save. Okay, then I'm going to, here it is where it saved it. And I'm going to apply it under multi-position and I apply it. There we go. Okay, there's the design. It's already, it's splitting for us. So I'm going to click on the design and I'm going to come up here to the center of the design in the hoop. So it centers in the design, the hoop. Okay, and it fits. There's no red flags down here when we, let's see, we'll go to try to save it. We'll hit file, save as stitch and working. I'm just gonna leave it called split design. You can name it whatever you like and it's going to save it. Okay, it has saved it, but if we want to see what happens, okay, so you go up to the utility, you go into split into hoop. Okay, now, we, now this side looks a little different. On the object panel, it looks, oops, oh, I want to see all. Okay, now over here, it's showing me what the two look like. If I click on this top one where it says top number one, it's it, what it does is it splits it and it's going to tell you to do this one first and this one second, whatever, or third or fourth or however many hoops you have. So over here, it's when I click on the object panel where it says top, it's showing you over here what it's going to stitch. And then over here, if you click on this one, it shows it grays out the top and the dark colors. Well, here, let me change some colors so you can see what they look like. Um, this can be black. That's These are my lines. Make that black again. These are my basting lines. And this one here, this is going to be okay. And make the outer part, make it maybe red. Close enough. Okay. And so here's how it's going so that's what it's going to look like. The top one is it will it says to stitch that first. So it's going to do these colors. And the bottom one is what you do second. And it's doing these colors. That way you can see them. And you notice in the middle, it doesn't do all of this in one place. It sort of does part of this little offset area with one of the hoopings and the other with the other hooping. The other thing it does, let's see, let's go to Stitch Simulator. Okay. So anyway, here's how it's going to stitch. It's going to first stitch out the top, the lettering, and then notice after it does the lettering, okay, and then it stitches the bottom part, and then over here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, let's take a look at what we have here. Let's go to a new one. And let, just to show you, I'm going to bring it up. So here's the folder, I have split design, Top, you bring that up, okay, and I'm going to move it up, and then I so notice um, I want to what I want to do is I want to highlight this section right here, and I'm going to change that color not from white. That's why we couldn't see it before, and I'm going to make it red, okay, and then. I'll open up a new one because here's how this is the top one. This is how it stitches out. It's going to stitch 
the basting line, and then it's going to put the top of the design, the lettering, and then very last thing it stitches out is this reference line. Notice how it's shaped. It's like a there's a line right here with a little little upright thing. So I'll go to open up a new one and we'll brought up, bring in the bottom one. Okay, here's what the bottom one looks like. And it stitches. Let's go ahead and change that reference line to a different color. I'm going to make it um, maybe yellow or green. Green's fine. Green. All right. Okay. So now how this is this side would stitch out is you would go to first it would do Okay, it does the reference line right there. It's the first thing it's going to do. Then it's going to stitch the rest of the design. Okay, so if I take this whole thing, I'm just going to copy and take the top one and paste it. And I can scoot it down. We would want to come down a little bit. Let me turn that hoop off so it's not just one shortcut to turn off your hoop is if you hit the shift and the H, it turns off your hoop so it's not distracting. Okay, so I'm going to, I am specifically looking for that green mark, the first thing it's going to stitch out, and it's right here. So let me make that a little bigger as we zoom in on it. Okay, so here's the green one of the second one. You would line up these two lines, the red and the green, which are our reference lines. And now your design will fit absolutely all together. Oop, too far. Okay, and then if you clip outside, what I usually do is I will take my basting and use the wash away thread so I don't have to take it out. And usually what I do is I hoop this big one. This is where you'd want to print out a template. Let's just do the one for the bottom. Okay, so when I would go to the print preview, see it printed it out so that it has the crosshairs that you could use. You'd print it out and then you would you'd print them both out and line them up so you get your centers. Then when you go to stitch, you just make sure that that very first stitch on the second part of the design is going to be exactly where it did the reference stitch for the last thing on the first stitch out. And that have it you can you can divide it up to however many hoops you need and it will divide it for you intelligently. Okay.